guys and welcome back to the second update for my 23 and 2023 project pan uh it might be well it was the plan to pan originally but my project pan project for this year as you saw in that quick little glance we do have two finished products out of the 23 so far which doesn't sound that great as of yet given that um we're now into march and we only have two out of the 23 down but I'm like yeah but there's several that are getting pretty close so it should start speeding up soon but there's some that I'm getting more and more skeptical as time goes on if whether or not they'll actually get finished this year but we shall see <laughs> so anyway the first one is of course the EOS Cranberry Pear Lip Balm which you guys see week in and week out with the lippies of the week because this one is the one that I just keep in every week until it's gone. It, we're now looking like this. Like I, I forget offhand what it looked like at the last update but I don't think it looked like this so making good progress. Pretty proud of that. But yeah so anyway there's that. So anyway. Next on there was the Little Moon Essentials Peppermint Shtick, which, um, that's already done. That was done in the first update, so I don't even have that with me. That That's done. It's gone. Um, as an aside, I, I forgot to mention at the start of the video, this is actually my third time re-recording this, and I really hope it, it's just this, and uh, it'll be usable this time, because the first one I recorded yesterday, and I thought it was fine, till I weirdly saw like, uh, you know the um, the face detection square thing that goes around your face while it's focusing. <laughs> did one around my face and one over my shoulder. It scared the shit out of me, but it didn't dawn on me that, hey, you know, it doesn't do that while you're recording, which means it had already stopped recording by the point when I recognized that. <laughs> So I was like, oh crap, have I been talking to a camera and it wasn't even rolling? But then I looked, it had some footage, but it cut off. So I was like, damn it, okay, so I'll just start over. So I re-recorded the whole thing. I brought it to my computer and the file was corrupted, which I did not know was a thing that could happen with iPods. So weirdly, all the videos before and all the videos after it, perfectly fine. Just this one. So I'm like, boy, the universe is just really screwing with me on this one so hopefully fingers crossed third time's charm that this one will be the one that's workable but anyway so next thing on the list is the Illamasqua Hydra Veil and I'm actually pretty proud of myself with this one it's not empty yet but you know how I was like very frustrated for a while at how it felt like even if I use it it's self-healing therefore it never really looks any different haha <laughs> well I made a really concerted effort last month to use this a bunch. I didn't use it every day. I used it on the days that I thought I was going to wear makeup. The irony, I didn't end up wearing makeup most of those days. Today was also one of those days. I thought I was going to put it on and I never did, but the day's not over. But anyway, so it was looking the same for like forever, right? And I was also frustrated because this is a black jar. It makes it really hard to see the product, but like, look how far down in there that is. And like, you can see through to the bottom, right? Like that's not that much deeper actually. So I'm like, oh, okay. And it's definitely starting to hit the part where it's curving in towards the bottom. So I'm like, okay. So at this kind of a clip, probably like within two, three months, I would imagine tops probably gone. It's not like I'm using it just like to waste it just to say it's gone. I'm, I'm using it because it's a good product and I like it. I'm, it's just also been in my collection for quite a while and I don't want it to go bad because it is a good product. It's just that catch-22 of when you know it's expensive so you don't want to waste it so it just sits around and then it's like, well, you want to sit around and still have it but have it expire and therefore still not be able to use it? Or do you want to just use it? Yeah, yeah, I'm still coming to grips with that mentality of just use it, but I'm getting better at it. As you guys are seeing, I'm getting better at it. So next on the list, <laughs> a little disappointed with myself for this one. A lot disappointed, actually. The uh, Neutrogena Clear Body one has not seen a bit of use yet this year, period. To be fair, 
Today was like the first sunny day we have had in, I don't know how long. Like, just for perspective, the Bay Area got snow everywhere except here. But we had the cold temperature, we just didn't have the precip on the right days, which figures. That is literally how it always goes down. My parents remember it happening once in their lifetime, in 1976. So I was like, well, odds are pretty good it ain't gonna happen here, but regardless. Yeah, uh, because it has been just cold and rainy and nasty, I've not been going out on my walks. So this has still been sitting untouched. It was a nice day, I probably could have gone out today, but it was still cold and I didn't want to go out, so I didn't. But now I'm like, I probably should have just sucked it up and done it, because who knows when we'll have another sunny day again with how it's been going, but regardless. Still need to make the effort to start using this bad boy. Uh, then after that, we have the Bliss Rose Gold Rescue Gentle Foaming Cleanser. And this has seen a lot of use. It is now down to here, which is crazy. So it's like, there's thankfully not a whole lot more to go. But I'm like, given we were up to about here at the last update, and now we're at here. That's like about these two nails worth of difference. I'm like, that's a good little gap in there for a month. Like if I can keep up that kind of pace. Yeah, I'll have this polished off in no time, which would be nice. And that's without even using it every single day. Cause I was using the Murad one quite a bit with breakouts and stuff. So, just saying, that's still pretty dang good progress. Uh, let's see, I have also, oh, <laughs> the other one where I was like, that ah, didn't get touched. Um, where is it? Yeah, the um, Acura Radically Rejuvenating SPF Day Cream also still has not yet been touched. I legitimately have not even used this one once, period. It hasn't been opened, which is pathetic. Definitely need to do that thing. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Is this one made for the face or? Doesn't really say. See box for directions. Mine didn't come in a box. It's a sample site. I'll have to look at their website. Anyway. Okay, but something that did see a crap ton of use that I'm really, really proud of and excited to show you guys. The Cottage Greenhouse Pomegranate Rejuvenating Facial Theorem. We are now down to here. Do you guys see that? Wasn't it not that long ago we were about up to this line and now we're way down here. I feel like around when I did the planned pan video, what, weren't we up near that line? That was just a couple months ago. That is crazy. And again, have not used this every single day. My skin doesn't typically tolerate this one every day as I've mentioned before, makes it break out. Although for how cold it has been lately, and with how much the heaters have been running, my skin has been able to tolerate it more, so it has seen more use, sometimes multiple days in a row, but sometimes causing issues, sometimes not. But regardless, it, yeah, it is crazy just how thirsty it's been making my skin just from the heaters being on. It is insane to me, but yeah, I was like, well, this right, shit. We might get this finished before summer, which would be good because I don't really touch this one during summer. So if I can get it used up before then, that would be marvelous. So then, oh gosh, I know I keep waffling on this damn product about, oh, I'm going to roll it out, I think. I think I'm going to replace it with another thing. And then next week, next update, it's still here and I'm still waffling about it. Yeah, well, last month I decided, screw it, I think I'm going to keep it in for a little longer, and I'm going to just try it and see how it goes, and it's been fine. So I think I'm overthinking this one, so I think this one's fine to stay in for the time being. Again, I will be keeping very close tabs on it, and if anything starts to go funky with it, like a weird smell or anything, or if it starts giving my skin issues whenever it's used, then it will go out. But I think for now it's still okay, honestly. So, there's that. We are now to, you can see the top of this. It doesn't look a whole great deal different, but for next update, remember this one. We're about at the 
bottom of the letter P. Not quite under it, but right near the bottom of it. So, And then the regular Glow Mist from Pixie. That one's up near the top of the P. So it's like, well, yeah. I mean, this one has seen a couple of uses throughout the month, but I really was trying to see how many times I could use this uh, while it is still good. So basically any day that I used this, I also used that on top of my moisturizer because for whatever reason it really helps bring all of the moisture in from the serum, from the moisturizer, just all of it. It helps it just absorb better and I don't know why that is. I'm also not complaining. So anyway, so then there's one and two. The uh, Hey Honey Show Your Glow Colloidal Gold and Honey Beauty Masks. Whichever one's the open one has seen a couple uses uh, since the last update. I mean, these are small little tubes, so on one hand, that doesn't feel like it's saying much, but on the other hand, there's not like a crap ton of uses in these anyway. So, I mean, at least they have been used now in an update, because I feel like in January they weren't. Yeah, this got me the used one, because this one's a lot tighter. But, um, yeah, we shall see. The frustrating thing with these masks is that the sides stay coated with it even when it does get about used up and it's one of those tubes that likes to refill itself with air so it looks totally full until you go to use it one day and there's just nothing in it it's like oh okay then <laughs> i've had i had that happen the first one of these so anyway so that's the update on those so then we have the burt's bees sensitive toner which is now to right here on the bottle. Don't remember where we were last month. I can safely say it hasn't seen a ton of use since the last update, but that was because I was focusing so hard on that L'Oreal Hydra Fresh one because I had mistakenly thought it was in this project when it wasn't. That one is now used up. It's now an empty, it's gone, so as soon as that was used up, I started focusing on this pretty exclusively with the exception of the days that I used the Burt's Bees acne one, but that one's a lot smaller and it's not in this project, so I've mostly stuck with this one and I'm seeing how long it'll take to go through it. Given it's already to there, I'm like, this will take no time. It looks a lot worse than it is, but it's like, nah. Nah, especially for how much comes out at a time. It's easy to overuse this toner without meaning to, so. Anyway, so there's that one. And then we have the Bath & Body Works Sweet Escape Strawberry Picnic uh, Body Cream. So this one, where are we at? Accidental ASMR. I think we're about right here for where the product is in down. So not a whole lot more. It's pretty light at this point. I'm thinking a few more uses, this one will be gone. Um, but yeah, given this was from the $13 days for the body cream, this is an older one. Like, do we remember how long it is, or how long ago it was for the $13 ones of these? Just saying. And yet, it's still freaking immaculate. It is perfect crystal clear white. No funky texture, no funky smell, it's perfect. But at the same time, I don't want to push my luck. So, gotta use it up. But I do really like that one. So we have that. We also have the Champagne Toast one. And I think this one is a little fuller. Yeah, this one, I think the product starts around right here. So, again, it not too terribly many uses left in it because I use these when I get out of the shower like all over my body so oh they don't get that many uses out of a whole tube the way I use them if I just use them on like my hands or my feet or something they'd probably last a really long time but since I'm, I do like everything but my face with them it's like well they go pretty quick I get like if I'm lucky maybe 20 uses out of a tube but usually it's not even that many <laughs> But one that I did use up, and this tube is so tired. Oh, by the way, the Champagne Toast one was also from the $13 days. 
it is not quite as pristine like it's got some slight yellowing going on but the consistency and the scent are still fine so again I, I just need to use it up quick because I'm like I again don't want to push my luck but it still seems okay but yeah the winter candy apple <laughs> which I twisted and contorted every which way the foil was starting to like fall apart on here and yet this one was from the 1350 days so this one's actually newer than both of those and this one fared the worst of the three this one was starting to go off but I was so hell-bent on using it up because it was in this project that I used it anyway but dead ass like the scent had changed the texture had changed it felt like it had like a grit in there like it felt like there was sand in there all of a sudden and that was not in there originally so I'm like oh I don't know what that is but it is definitely not supposed to be there oh gross and yet I used it anyway but it's empty and gone now so I don't have to worry about that one anymore so uh, in its place I rolled in the one that I bought at the same time is this one the um, cocktail dress. It's the one in the purple bottle like this, so anyway. Yes. So then we also have the Sella Creme Rose one, which has also seen some use. Um, like it's flattened out down to here. Like it's just this amount, which weirdly doesn't look like much, but I would argue probably has more uses left in it than both of those other two tubes because <laughs> a little bit of this one goes a hell a long way so this one's got uh, more time to go on it than those have but it's also newer so I'm not as worried about it then we have the damn bloody Murad acne control clarifying cleanser so I marked the side of this with my nail holding it up to light so yeah the mark is right there this is how much is left in it so it's getting there, slowly, very, very slowly, because I can't use a whole lot of it at a time because it overstrips my skin and then I get peeling and then that's the whole last thing and then trying to moisturize that so the peeling will heal, then my nose gets breakouts and then we have to use more of this and it's a whole vicious cycle for a while and then I have the white nose from putting on the concealer over it and we have those days if in case anybody was curious what that's about um every, every time we go through this cycle because of this that's what that's about but yeah anyway still hell-bent on using it up it is the last tube I have of this shit I suffered through the rest of them I am hell-bent on using the rest of this one and then moving on to another acne cleanser because I know for a fact they do not all work the way this one does I have used so many that were perfectly fine had no issues with it's just this one and it's a shame because when I first tried it out I thought it was like a silver bullet for acne until I started trying to use it on my nose and it's just a problem every time and yet I continue to do it because I'm trying to use it up so yeah anyway then we have the e.l.f. Gentle Peeling Exfoliant, which it's fine, but when you have other products that do the same job way better, and theirs don't have a broken pump on them that requires you to open it up and get a spatula down in there to scoop it out, guess which one you're going to actually use when you need them? Not this guy, but I did use it a couple times since the last update. But there is still like a lot left in there and every time I take this out there's so much that comes off on that tube as well but like there is I don't know if you can see down in there but there's a lot left so I'm like Ugh. this is gonna be a challenge to use this one up just saying not a huge fan of it if the pump worked correctly I would like it a lot more because the product itself works fine but like <laughs> Having to go through that whole extra step just because the pump's broken is enough to turn me off of it when I have like five other things that do the job just as well and better than that one. So then we have the Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment. 
This one's still way up to here. I love this product, but it is like a, a natural product, so I don't want it to like go bad on me and expire. Thankfully, I've never had that happen with this product. I have bought it more than once. I really like this one. It just is one of those things where this particular bottle has been in my collection since either late 2019 or very early 2020. And does it show how many months after opening? It surprisingly doesn't, but I also just don't want to like invite that kind of trouble if I don't have to, knowing that it's a natural product, so yeah, I don't want it to go bad on me because this is a really good product, but anyway. Similarly, the It's a 10 Silk Express Miracle Silk Smoothing Balm is down to here, so not a whole crap ton left in it, but this one does go bad. I've had bottles of it turn on me before and I don't want it to happen with this one because it's expensive. I think it might even be discontinued now so it's like I have this and I have one more bottle to use up so um need to get a move on with this bottle so I can get the other bottle in and hopefully not have it expire either. But yeah. So the Elf Cookies and Dreams Milkshake Overnight Mask. Full disclosure have not touched since the last update. But I was working on so many other masks last month. Plus, I mean, it was February. It's a short month. So I'll try and do better this month with this one. Oops, didn't mean to throw it. So then one that did see use, although it was a pain in my ass about it, was the Freeman Rejuvenating Cucumber and Pink Salt Clay Mask. So I used this a couple times and it very quickly reminded me why this one typically just sits on my countertop largely ignored even though it is the one closest to my hand <laughs> trying to get me to use it. Yeah, so that um, pink salt that's in there, it's great on the skin, it's great for exfoliating, but then you gotta rinse it off, right? And typically with this type of mask, just splashing your face with water is not gonna do the job. You have to use something like a washcloth. Here's the problem. No matter how much you rinse that washcloth, that salt wants to stay in there. So you end up re-wetting it down, thinking you rinsed it out, and now you're just redepositing it back on your face. And then you touch your face and realize, fuck, it's there again. Oh my god, I thought I got it off. And then, nope, no you didn't. So basically, the best you can do is get like the mask part off your face as clear as you can with the washcloth, and then go back in with just your hands and splash until you can get the salt off. Let the washcloth dry, throw it in your laundry, move on with your life, but get a clean washcloth after that, because, yeah, I kept making the mistake of forgetting I had used it for that, and then would, like, try to wash my face later that night, end up with salt back on my face again, yeah, it was a whole thing. Like I said, it reminded me why I usually skip this one, but... Still have a big old tube of this one, so I, I feel obligated to use it. And I feel bad shitting on it because, I mean, it does a good job at what it does. It's just a pain in my butt with the salt thing. <laughs> okay, almost done. So then we have the Luster's Pink Glosser. And this, I mean, we're down to here. It's a little further than last time, but it's like, this is not my favorite at all. I would go so far as to say, I fucking hate this product. I really wish I hadn't bought it, but I'm hell-bent on using it anyway because I did throw like $9 at it. So I'm trying to use it up, but oh, it is slow going. Because you can't use too much or it makes your hair look like an oil slick. Have to use it while my hair is wet before I blow dry it. Because again, if I let it air dry with it on, oil slick city. <laughs> and no matter what way I do it, I get a lot less time between washes before it looks dirty. Like, it looks scrunchy right now, and it's not. And it's because I used this. <laughs> Does it look glossy? No. Does it look dirty? Yeah. That sucks. It doesn't do the one job that it claims that it does. It pisses me off. So. I'm trying to use it up, but at the same time I have other things I'm trying to use up too, so I don't use it every time because if I used it on top of the other ones, 
I don't even want to know what cocktail clusterfuck of a mess that would do to my hair, but no, I am not mixing all of them. <laughs> like, that is not happening, but... Yeah, we'll slowly get there. The other thing that makes me not like this one is just how intense the fragrance is on it. It is so headache-inducing. It's awful. I just, ugh, I'm not a fan of this one. Whoever thought this was a good idea, you're a bastard. That's all I can say. Like, I don't know anyone who likes this product. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to just impulse buy that one. But I mean, the... The label was so cute, and it was pink, and oh my god, it just, I don't know. I don't know what my line of thinking was that day. But then the final thing in here I am proud of. So it doesn't look like much, because it was on its side where I had it laying down in the box. But this is the Broadway Vital Lip Rose Hip Oil Lip Gloss. It is like the world's slowest moving lava lamp with that bubble in it. But I have used this a bunch since the last update. I did have it in a Lippies of the Week uh, last month, and while it may not look like I had a lot of progress on it, I can pull up the data on how much I used of that one. So I wrote that down in here too. So it started out at 0.658 ounces and ended up at 0.600 ounces just in one week. If I can do that in one week, it shouldn't take too many times of rolling this one in to use it up, I'm thinking. So with that in mind, I'm going to try to roll it in once a month, see how long it takes. Just because I think it's interesting, and because this one was new when I rolled it in, actually. I don't think I'd use this particular tube once. I have had this one in the past. I will probably buy it again in the future because I like it. I just wanted Honestly, to see how long it would take to use one up under those circumstances, but anyway. So that's the update. Hopefully this one does not get corrupted when I go to bring it back to my computer. If it does, I may cry. So anyways, that is it for this one. So thank you for hanging with me if you did watch this whole thing. Uh, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything in the it's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. Anyway guys, till next time. See ya.